What's going on, guys? So we're going to look at some thermal footage. This is from the clip where um, we had the creatures around us. And I filmed it while I was relieving myself. Um, originally, we went and broke down the creatures that were in the back. I didn't even notice this thing. This joker was right up on where I was. It's probably 20 feet from me, somewhere in there, in that neighborhood. And uh, and it watched me the whole time. I'm of the mind that the creature that we're gonna watch in this breakdown is what a female Bigfoot looks like. And I think that because I've seen several different creatures like this one, they look like spinning images of each other. They look like giant squirrels. And it's crazy, but here it is. While I was peeing, she was watching. I I got something here. Psst. I have some weird shit over here. Hang on. Yeah, so at that point, I already know that there's something going on here. I can see what seems to be a creature. Uh, but it's, again, statue. It's just sitting there. Then it moved a little bit, and I could see the eyes and the brow and all that stuff moving, so I just kept filming. I think if we've learned anything from our thermal studies, it's um, that, you know, not all thermal cameras, first of all, are created equal. Um, ATN cameras have uh, several different limitations where identifying the creatures that can self-regulate are concerned, right? This creature was in front of me. I knew something was going on. I'm filming and I'm looking through the Oculus and, you know, obviously I'm, you know, busy doing something, but uh, we still managed to catch it though it's not um you know glowing it's 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 closer to the ambient temperature of the bush that it's actually in and it's very difficult to reverse that imaging or that imagery um, we've been successful in this breakdown in many different frames in seeing a creature that human eyes are not supposed to see we have three cones and uh, it's an antagonistic vision system that's limiting our ability to tell that these creatures are there. It's taken me 10 years to get to the point where I understand when the creatures are around me and it has more to do with my body and, and uh, the physical uh, nature of being around the creatures and being able to tell that they're there than being able to use your other senses. Uh, we have trouble seeing them in the daytime. So at night, pff, all bets are off. So guys, today we're looking at this uh, creature. Let me just go over what you're looking at here, right? So we got this really big head, and it's uh, an individual that I've seen before. There are several with him. But this is a nostril and a nostril and a mouth, and it's an enormous creature. It's even got some bone structure. You can see the eye here, the other eyes over here. But look at this thing. So here's that nostril, the other nostril, and there's like a ridge, and then you can see this mouth. It's a huge creature. If you can kind of picture um, like a cartoonish kind of a Bigfoot, and, and that's actually what they are. Um, he's considerable distance from me, probably, um, I think in the end it was like 75 yards is the, the actual distance that we were shooting, and, I've already, you know, zoomed in on the clip, but 
here it is nostrils so we got this huge nose it's just a big fat nose right and then his eyes are back in there but you can see here's his mouth and his whole head is huge so as we um, kind of you know go through this um, you can see because we've been here and re-measured uh, on multiple occasions and right here is right around 10 feet and uh, and he's bigger than that um, looking at the frames that we get of this individual the nose is changing shape throughout but the eyes are indeed up here in this area this is an enormous creature very big very wide I, I would think that this thing's arms are somewhere out here on both sides like out here like this thing is huge um, you know 1500 pounds probably I mean it seems like it's big enough to be that um, you can see him perfectly good so you know it's like it's more about do you understand you know what they look like and uh, and so here we have this is the, the the nose hole right here so it'd be the side of the nostril and uh, and then the nostril comes down and that ridge that's in between the human nose that's real thin uh, theirs is really wide right and this even actually has under the skull there's a little ridge at the base of the nasal cavity and that's this ridge showing with skin pulled across his face it's uh it's really an awesome piece of uh, footage because we can see him uh, you know and how the diffusion and the light sources overhead of the creature and at the angle we're filming are being changed by cloud cover uh, that's passing by and, uh, and it's changing the way we perceive what's standing there, too. Because in between frames, there's you're not thinking this is a Bigfoot, right? But then all of a sudden, we get all this detail because what's happened is there's stability in the light that is hitting his face for just a few seconds. We get our frames, and, uh, and then it goes right back into uh, aberration. And, uh, and here's a, a comparison. This is actually what I saw and I saw this uh, same creature this way. Um, it was probably just a little ways down from where he's uh, being filmed right now. But um, we get some really interesting frames, uh, you know, when we're looking at the creature. And, um, you know, it shifts in position, could be chewing, could be, you know, it seems like they can move their mouths a great deal. Like uh, you would see, uh, like a large cow chewing and you can see him side by side that's the type of movement you're seeing from these big guys when they're chewing the vegetation that's in there uh, or if you know they get a hold of one of the apples we bring you can see the eye shine right there uh, but he's changing the shape of his face uh, with all that soft tissue there that's a lot of musculature and uh, and then we've got the diffusion going on and uh, we're looking for our frames in between we're getting a look at uh, the whole thing and you can see there's some eye shine going on in this one um, just going to keep going so you can get some of these better frames there's a real good shot of uh, what is essentially the head of the creature and uh, you can see the, the light inside there this is that big wide nose and the nose is just flared in a way because it's so wide uh, that it makes it look like eyes but it's not it's just the nostrils of a very large Florida Sasquatch. The diffusion's doing its work in uh, in most of the frames, and then suddenly we get another frame here and there, uh, in which we can you know really see what's going on uh, and make out you know the creature to the extent that we need to. Uh, this is the problem. Most of the time, the creatures are retransmitting, and it's very difficult for human beings to detect that they're there visually. But that doesn't mean that they're not there. That does not mean that this guy isn't standing there. It just means the diffusion in between is fooling you. And you can see in between frames we get like little shifts where the nose looks different and it's flared wider in that frame, whereas in this frame it's not as wide. And you can see the nose is flaring out a little bit there. You can see there's that ridge of bone with the skin pulled across it just above the mouth. That's like I said, that's the lower part of that nasal cavity. When I mean, you look at those skulls and you see how there's like a triangle where the nasal cavities are and then you sometimes will see a ridge sticking up on the base. That's what that is. There's a, there's a bony ridge right there and it shows in a lot of the creatures that we catch on film. 
Well, listen, guys, I want to thank you for checking out this review. This was an encounter that I had with my wife, and uh, and actually, Melanie shot this footage. You know, uh, Melanie attends expeditions with me all the time, and uh, for the first six years of our study, she shot most of the creatures all by herself. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Look for more footage real soon. Turn on all notifications. Make sure you go in those settings and turn on, because otherwise... They seem to be turning all of our notifications for our subscribers off, so please, guys, check.